Okay, the regular council meeting, Monday, December the 1st, 2014, 7 p.m. will now come to order. Roll call, please. Mr. McLaughlin. Here. Mr. McIntyre. Here. Mr. Zambach. Present. Mr. Reynolds. Here. Mr. Ripley. Here. Mr. Craybrock. Here. Mr. Mike Here. All present. Thank you. We'll now have the invocation by Mr. Reynolds. If you'd all stand, please. Let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight for all your blessings. Lord, thank you for this council. It, and let us make the great decisions and decisions that need to be made for the citizens. Lord, we, you know we're all here for the city that we love. Uh, bless this council, bless the city, and bless its citizens, and bless us as we make the decisions tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, sir. Uh, join me with the Pledge of Allegiance. If we use the one in the back, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I want to thank everyone for being here tonight. If you have a cell phone, if you wouldn't mind putting it on vibrate or turn it off, I'd certainly appreciate it. Uh, action on the minutes from the regular meeting, November 17th, so moved. 2014. Would that be our second? <laughs> Whatever, Mr. Collier's right. Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. Mr. Craybacher? Uh, yes. Mr. Mike Lowry? Yes. Mayor Malachan? Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Past seven to zero. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Communications. Any communication this evening? None this evening. Thank you. We'll now go into the city manager's report then, please. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Um, have a somewhat abbreviated manager's report tonight. Um, uh, in your packet, there was a Clark County Combined Health District monthly report. Also in your packets, um, it's the time of the year we need to renew our board members. Um, the Volunteer Firefighters Dependent Fund Board has two representatives from council. And I know one year we had Mr. McIntyre, one year we had Mr. Uh, Rick Lowry, and Mr. Zambach's been on in a couple of years. And I apologize, I think I did not update my list from last year. So I'm not sure who is currently, if it was Mr. McIntyre or Mr. Rick Lowry, um, but we need to have two members appointed to the board um, tonight. Do we need two new members? Is that no, what you're saying? No, they don't have to be Could new be the members. same people. Right, so. Council? Unless anyone wants it. Yeah, I, need want a, it? I need a motion here. Mr. Mayor. Yes. Make a motion to appoint Mr. Bill McIntyre and then Richard Zambach to the fire board. Second. Fire division board. Mr. Reynolds seconded. Any discussion? Thank you for stepping up, gentlemen. We appreciate it. You would call for the vote, please. Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. Mr. Freebach? Yes. Mr. Mike Lowry? Yes. Mayor McLaughlin? Absolutely. McIntyre. Might have voted or do I um, abstain sure, from doing vote. so? You can vote on this. Yes. Do you vote or abstain? I voted, yes. Good for you, I do too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, voted, you voted, sir? Yes, yeah, you did. Mr. Rill. Yes. <laughs> oh, we're having a jolly good time tonight. That's good. Hey, it's Christmas. How was it Christmas? Mr. Zambach, in the past, you had been the chairman. Do you, um, would you, would you mind doing that again? I am not letting any of the meetings get out of control. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I, I appreciate that very much. So I will okay, try to come up the roster this year. So just wondering. We'll have this continue next year. Um, also in your packet is a nice letter from Impact Bethel. It's the time of year for their annual uh, drive to raise cash, toys, bring in toys, new toys and food items, new food, not any old food. <laughs> so if anybody has any questions regarding the requirements or the specifications of that, they can check with me at the city building. Um, but that is a very good cause, and I encourage everybody to, um, in, to um, uh, I can't even think of what I'm trying to say. 
donate. Yeah, to donate <laughs> and to support them is what I'm trying to say, but I was reading it, got distracted. So if I might just add to that, that is a wonderful organization for our entire area, not just Nukalau, but the surrounding area as well. They do a wonderful job. Two or three of them that are on the board and so forth, and Merv is also in Nukalau Rotary Club, mm -hmm. and they do so much good, it's amazing. I, I would like to say to people, if instead of giving gifts, if you have older people in your, I'm saying family, instead of giving gifts to them, maybe it would be good if you donated the money that you were gonna do as a group to like Impact Bethel or Food Bank or whatever it might be and then buy gifts for the children. Mm -hmm. I know most of us don't get anything we really wanted anyway, because <laughs> I wanted a new car, I don't get it, so you know, it'd be nice to, to do that. Yeah, that is a good idea and a lot of times people get to the point that they, they don't really need anything exactly. and they, they appreciate that as well. So yes, that does, it helps two different causes. <laughs> Also in your pack is a flyer about our annual um, holiday parade, holiday events. And the parade is actually this Saturday, December 6th. Um, the Tecumseh Aero Marching Band will be featured in the parade. Uh, starts at 10 o'clock, lining up at Madison Street and Main Street. Um, there again is the contest for a children dressed as storybook um, characters or holiday characters. Um, and then they award prizes to the best costumes and you must be in the parade in order to participate in that contest. So I do encourage you all to come out and participate and stay along the street and watch the parade go by and then they end up at the fire station where Santa Claus will visit with everybody. So that is this Saturday, December 6th, 10 o'clock in the morning. And finally, in your packet is a thank you letter. Um, this was a nice surprise. A lady came into the office last week. I had actually talked to her several months ago, and I, I forgot about it. And she had said she was going to be getting these trees in the mail um, through the Arbor Association, I believe. And um, she just continued her membership because her dad had always belonged. And she every time she sent him $10, she would get more trees and more trees. She asked if we would be able to use them at the city, and I said, we can always use more trees. So she came in, uh, it was last Wednesday, and uh, brought me 10 trees, little seedlings, which will be uh, planted in our cemetery and uh, our different parks. So we appreciated her thinking of the city when she got those, and uh, I'm sure that we'll appreciate those for years to come. And that is my report. I'll be glad to answer any questions. Council, any questions from the city? Mr. Reynolds? Mrs. Jones, uh, I have a question. Have we received any invoices by any chance from Mr. Pizzerata? No. Thank you. Anyone else? Any other questions? City Manager? Thank you. Appreciate your report. All right, time for comments from members of the public. I know there's a lot of eager people out there, I can tell, by taking a look tonight. A lot of smiles, that's good. No one like to speak tonight? Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you all for being here. We appreciate it. Uh, committee reports, any committee reports? None tonight. No committee reports. All right, we'll go into resolutions. Mr. Collier, if you would, please. Resolution 1412R, a resolution providing for the permanent transfer of funds to the wastewater capital contingency fund to the wastewater operating fund. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Motion to adopt resolution 14 days, 12 on. I second. And as an explanation of this resolution, and also you'll look at the different resolutions and ordinances, we have several that pertain to the budget um, this particular meeting. Um, Mrs. Harris has been doing a great job going through, working with our auditor, trying to clean up the books for the end of the year. Uh, moving money where it needs to be moved to make sure we're not going to be in the red in any place. Um, closing out accounts that have been open with a couple of dollars in them for years and years and years because they'd always been there. So she's done a lot of cleaning up of the funds. And that's why you may see some more of these next at the next meeting just to try to get it all taken care of. A little bit out of time, we've done some. Um, there are different stages of the, some had to be resolutions, some had to be ordinances. So um, basically, just cleaning house tonight, trying to get everything in order for the end of the year. Good. Council, any questions? Yes, Mr. Kribble. And I might, I might know the answer, but for the people out there in TV land, you know, um, which funds can you not 
move money from one to the to other? The um, the general fund basically can go into and supplement any fund, um, and that's what we're doing here is doing the transfers that we had put in the appropriations for the um, the loans that we have. There are a few of the capital improvement wastewater that can go into the wastewater operating fund, um, but you can't move like fire into the swimming pool and we don't move any of the internal funds around. So it's basically um, the one that we're moving out is um, the wastewater into helping the wastewater. The general fund is going to close out the pool that's running in uh, the negative and some of the bonds. Most of the rest of them are, there's two or three more maybe next month that are these 48 cents and 78 cents, and we're still looking at uh, making sure that we are able to close those out. They've been on the books for years. Mm -hmm. um, but we've been working with our council, we've been working with the CPA um, and the auditor's office to make sure what we're moving is, is we're allowed to. Okay, let me just see if I can get this, get this straight. Like I said, I, I kind of understand it. Um, so, street funds, you know, for the different purposes for that street fund, you can move from one to the other purpose of the street fund. No, the street, the, the street fund we don't mess with. It's only, there's, um, there's a street fund, there's the permanent tax, state highway, those are kind of all associated with the streets. Those are their own separate funds. Those don't, those don't change. We're not moving any of those out. Um, it's a little difficult to explain all of them, but most of the funds are set up to be run independent. The enterprise funds, your water, your sewer, those are like little businesses and they have to stay, they have to make their own money, they have to support themselves. Then the general fund is what we have that we can use to supplement the smaller ones, but we can't take money out of the street and put it in the general fund. Or we can't take money out of the street levy and put it into fire or ambulance. So it's, that's not what I was going to say, but you know, you're right. You know, I, I got onto the wrong fund to say that. Yeah. To do that. Mr. Mayor. Uh, yeah, Mr. Craybacher, I think what I, I think I might be able to ask this question for him. So, if we have the street fund, we can use different. We can use that money for different items underneath the street. Was what you were asking, right. correct? Okay, that's what I thought you were asking. Yeah, that's exactly what I was asking. If you're talking about the street levy fund that was voted on a couple of years ago, that's got more restrictions. That can only that can't be used for um, employees or anything like that. It's just for the reconstruction, repair, and putting in new streets. So that's really strict. Oh yeah, but he the was street fund as a whole is what is what she was saying can't move, be moved to the general. Yeah, that's like, yeah. I understand what he yeah. was asking. I just so. didn't want people to think we were moving the levy right. money around either because mm -hmm. we're not. Thank that's you. why I want TV land. Yeah. 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 Anyone else? Any other questions? Mr. Collier? Mr. Mike Lowry? Yes. Mayor Malone? Yes. Mr. McIntyre? Yes. Mr. Zambach? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. Mr. Craybar? Yes. Pass 7 to 0. Thank you. When you're ready, if you go on, please. <coughs> resolution 14 13 R, a resolution providing for the permanent transfer of of funds from the general fund to various other funds of the city of New Carlisle. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Move we adopt resolution 14 13 R. I second. City manager, oh, sorry. Straight. I mean, oh. this is just an explanation. It's, it's the same as the one before. Sorry, I was reading it. <laughs> okay. Um, same explanation as before, just moving money where it needs to be. I do have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, Swim pool. Mm -hmm. Is that the final figure? And the that's why loss. I've waited this long. I believe right. it, it's settled in for the whole month. We obviously right. don't have any more expenses. Okay. Um, there were things that um, we were making sure utilities were coming in that okay. we, we might have owed on. Okay. So that dollar and cents is it. And it's that lost zero, that they took last year. Zero it out, yeah. Okay. Plus what it started out, yeah. Right. Negative. Thank you very much. So in our work session, That's we'll awesome. be able to find out on some of these That's thoughts. Awesome. Like the swimming pool and where we, how much we had to put into the swimming pool and so forth. Okay, thank you. Anyone else, any other questions? Anyone? Mr. Collier? Mr. Mike Lowry? Yes. Sir. Mayor McLaughlin? Yes. Yes. Mr. 
Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Now we'll go into ordinances, and when Mr. Collier is ready, if you would, sir. Ordinance 14-51, public hearing in action tonight. An ordinance authorizes the city manager to enter into an agreement with Ohio Insurance Services Agency, Incorporated, for COBRA administration. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. The motion to adopt ordinance 14-51. Second. Um, in the past, we used to use McGoat Graybender as our broker for our health insurance. They did the COBRA as part of that health insurance. It was all like one, one big policy. Um, now that we're with Ohio Insurance Services, they have it broken down separately. Um, COBRA is, if you're not aware of what COBRA is, it's, uh, my understanding is if somebody would leave employment with the city of New Carlisle, they would be able to continue their health insurance with them paying the premiums. Uh, for a certain length of time. It's very, um, a lot of paperwork, very time intensive to, to manage it, and when you don't do it that often, it can be confusing. So um, Mrs. Harris and I talked about it, and we decided for that small amount of money, $325, that it would be worth our while to have a professional handle paperwork should we have to get into that situation. So that's what the purpose of this is. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah, Mr. Rackham. I had a question. Um, when, when you said that COBRA is available for people who uh, are employed in New Carlisle and leave, it's my understanding that this is also the same program that anyone uses who's a public sector job, federal, state, or local. Don't they would go under COBRA as well as a program? If they leave their employer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of to tie them over until the next I'm not the sure next if it's job. just limited to it's public not. employment. I think it's anybody that oh, leaves anyone their employer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's just not leaving. It's a, there's a change of circumstance. It's, it's broader than that. Um, and it's very important, I think, to have someone um, that is accustomed to the regulations. And as those regulations change, um, to distribute that paperwork. I, I might add. Yes, that, Mr. Zamba. Not, there are hundreds, thousands of regulations that they're familiar with that we must comply with. And if we don't, we get in a world of hurt with government <coughs> and it can cost us enorm, enormous amounts of money. Uh, therefore, for $325 a year, we'd be idiots to not do it because we just don't have the expertise in it. It's not remotely. Thank you. Anyone else? Any other comments? Anyone? No. <coughs> Mr. Collier, if you would. Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. <coughs> Mr. Craig Lowry? Yes. Mr. Mike Lowry? Yes. Mr. Mayor McLaughlin? Yes. Mr. McIntyre? Yes. Mr. Zambaugh? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Pass 7 0. Ordinance 14 52, public hearing and action tonight. Ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into an agreement for professional accounting and consulting services. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. The motion to adopt ordinance 14 days by two. Second. Okay, this ordinance is part of our annual audit. Um, and we, in the past, we have used the same company for the last, I believe, 12 years. And they help us to prepare our basic financial statements in preparation of the audit that we have to go through every year. And he has also been um, working with Mrs. Harris as far as closing these accounts and cleaning things up. So he's been an asset to us to be able to have his pick his brain. Council, any questions? Mr. Rhodes? Uh this, the, I read in here that it talked about for the uh, fiscal year 2014-15, but wasn't our regular audit for 13, correct? I, I mean, that's what it says on the front of the booklet. So in, four, in 14, they do the audit for last year. For the last year, so this is for la so they're going to clean up the books. Cause so I, like, next year in 15, they'll be doing 14. All right, and then I uh, have, this is regarding this, have we addressed the, uh, the concerns that the uh, uh, aud regular audit have addressed? Is, will that be part of this ordinance, will they be addressing the concerns? We have been working on everything in the audit letter except the fixed asset, and we are still working on it, but we don't believe we're going to have it completed by the end of the year. It's a huge undertaking. Oh, okay. um, it's one of them that's been in the audit uh, recommendation for years because it's such a huge manpower to get that put together, but we are picking away at it. The other um, items in the audit, if that's, 
if I'm understanding the correction, the question correctly, we've been um, completed. We've uh, like with the swimming pool in. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, all right. Yeah. Now I understand that it was not until we received our final audit, which was in about June or July, when we got those recommendations. So when we get our audit next year, the first half of the year is still. Um, of course, the pool won't fall into that because we had it fixed by the time the pool opened, but there are some um, little things that might have slipped by, but we've tightened up the rest of the year and, and we're hoping to uh, be completely in compliance next year with the fixed asset program. All right, that's my only question. Anyone else? <coughs> yes, Mr. President. I Brady. just want to make a quick statement, you know, like again for people out there in TV land, is that um, it's very important to have an audit done now yes we have a great accountant great finance director and great people that you know that i work with the money but it's also great to have a second pair of eyes you know on it. um we saw a local church earlier you know they had that you know they might, might be able to count their errors earlier you know, so. anyone else mr Carter? Mr. Mike Lowry? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. McIntyre? Yes. Mr. Zambach? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Rick Lowry? Yes. Mr. Craig? Yes. Pass seven to zero. Ordinance 14-53 public hearing and action tonight. An ordinance amending the estimated resources of the city of New Carlisle that will be available to appropriate for the fiscal year beginning January 1, 2014. Council. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Must to adopt ordinance 14-53. Second. Um, this is something we do periodically throughout the year. At the beginning of the year, January 1st, um, with that ordinance, we set our estimated what we thought would be our resources for the year. Every time we get unexpected money coming in, for example, uh, the money from the cruiser has, as a result of the insurance, um, more money from estate taxes than we thought. We can't just spend that money. We have to change our appropriate, we have to ch change the appropriation, the resources on that appropriation to be able to spend it. So that's what this is doing is changing that, what we thought back in January to what it actually is. Okay. Any, any questions? Anyone? Council? Well, hearing none, Mr. Collier, please. Mr. Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Rick Yes. Mr. Craig Lowry. Yes. Mr. Mike Lowry. Yes. Mr. Mayor McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. McIntyre. Yes. Mr. Zambach. Yes. Pass seven to zero. Ordinance 14-54, public hearing. In action tonight, an ordinance supplementing certain appropriations in the New Carlisle Ordinance 14 11. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Make a motion to adopt Ordinance 14 54. Second. Mr. Yes. This is more the um, housekeeping that we're doing with the appropriations once we changed our estimated resources which we just did now we have to let the county know that what we thought we were going to have is actually more money so we have to let them know so this is like two steps to changing the resources okay council <clears throat> any questions council hearing none mr collier if you call for the vote mr reynolds yes mr rick lowry yes Yes. <coughs> Mr. Michael. Yes. Mayor McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. McIntyre. Yes. Mr. Zamba. Yes. For this 14 55 public hearing in action tonight, an ordinance establishing, tempor establishing, establishing temporary, <coughs> temporary appropriations for the fiscal year 2015. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. The move we adopt ordinance 14 55. Second. This is probably, you could consider this a temporary budget for the beginning of next year until we get our 
legitimate our real full budget, which is usually February or March. This will get us through so that we can pay bills in January, into February, March. Any questions, Council? Yes, Mr. Ritter. Uh, I had done some research on this. Uh, the, I want to just point out that the reason they're in broad strokes is because I found out that if we put it like itemized budgeting on, on like in the temporary budget, unless we exceed that amount, we have to come back here, pass the ordinance or emergency ordinance or et cetera, which I don't think is a good idea. So I want to applaud you for this. After doing some research, I'm like, oh, this makes total sense. So thank you, Mrs. Harris. Anyone else? Any other comments? <clears throat> any questions? Hearing none, Mr. Collier, if you call for the vote. Mr. Rick Lauer. Yes. Mr. Craybock. Yes. Mr. Mike Lauer. Yes. Mayor McLaughlin. Yes. Mr. McIntyre. <coughs> yes. Mr. Zambach. Yes. Mr. Rams. Yes. Pass seven to zero. Thank you. When you get a chance, if you would read the introduction to that. Ordinance 14 56 introduction to ninth public hearing and action on December 15, 2014. An ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a rate agreement with NBI Solutions Incorporated. Okay, thank you. If you'd like to read, well, let's go to other business first. Other business, anyone have anything you'd like to bring up tonight? Mr. Lock. Yes. I may have a few minutes, Mr. Mayor. We recently had a tax levy on a ballot that failed. <clears throat> and I've been doing a lot of thinking about that. Uh, why, when, yeah. And please, no one be offended, but I think we all went about it the wrong way. We're going to have a meeting day after March 530? 630. 630. And I don't think that we as a group got out the specifics. We said we need this, we need this. We didn't throw any figures out. And I think we need to take a whole new approach. And with that being said, I would like to ask you, Colleen, if for our meeting, if you can do this, and I want to make sure I word this right, if New Carlisle started January 1 of 2015 and went all the way to December 31st, 2015, and things went as they did in 2014, okay? And you projected we're gonna spend this much money for gas for this truck, that truck, whatever, as you do for every budget, okay? What is the final result at the end of the year in dollars and cents? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? For the end of 2015? Exactly, if and we you follow through starting January 1st, what is gonna be the end result for New Carolina on so December So I can get 30? that for you Wednesday? So I Pardon? can get as, as okay. close as you can, okay, and this is short order. I, I just thought of this, you know, um, like I said, I've been mauling it over and over, and I know when I ask my wife for money, okay, I say, I need money for the truck. Well, what do you need for the truck, you know? And that's what I'm kind of getting at. We've told people we needed money, but we have never got real specific. I know I mentioned the police cruiser at one time, Dick, and you mentioned something, and, but we've never got specific and put any numbers out there, okay? And I'm not faulting anybody here, anybody over here. I think we just all, we hadn't done it for a long time, okay? It's not been done. And I think we need to take a different approach and show people that the need is really there and to show it in dollars and cents. Not that we need a police cruiser because it has a bad seat, which it does, and it's 16 years old. But I think we need to be a whole lot more specific and show where we're going to be. And I know for a fact that I'm going to learn something at this meeting when you come and bring that because I don't know right now what's going to happen at the end of 2014 or 15. I have no idea. I know just like we've talked that we need a police cruiser. We've got to buy vests and, you know, other things. But I have no idea. Are we going to default some payments on debt? I don't know that. And, 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 and it if is it's short order, you know, and you can't get it done, then let's sit here right now and set another work session so that we can find out because it's very important. And we've been trying um, all year to clean up the, the books and to see and to make the projections. And of course, when you're, you're running a, a $5 million budget, exactly. it changes daily on the expenses. And, 
you think you get it under control and then you have an unforeseen expense. Right. Um, we have been looking at what we were approved for appropriations this year since I started. And we went with a, a lot of the items that we thought capital projects we would be able to do. Okay. The income has been lower than projected. Not anybody's fault. It's right. just, it's, it's the real numbers. You, it, it's, you have what you have to work with. Right. Exactly. Um, we've cut back a lot, but honestly, um, if we pull out the end of the year with any reserve, we're doing good. Okay. Will we have it next year? Not the way it's looking okay. right now. And, not and without you know, changes. And like I say, if you can, just whatever from the next meeting. Once again, I'm not following you or anybody no, no, there or anybody here. We're all in this together, yes, okay? Absolutely. And I guess there just wasn't maybe some good ideas brought up, and myself included. I should have thought of this a long time ago. I didn't think about it, you know. And, and it's not a hero thing. It's just something we have to get done. And, and I would just like to get more information out. Okay. And hopefully we can do that Wednesday. Or, like I said, if we have to have another meeting, so be it. If we have to have four in a row, I don't really care. Because we've got to get it done. Okay? We've, we've got to get it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <coughs> Thank you. Anyone else? Other business? Anything? Yes. Um, okay, our church and the Church of the Brethren, we're taking on a very concerted effort to pray for the community and to pray for the local government. Starting Tuesday at 6.30 at the church, you know, we're going to start praying for the community. Half an hour or longer, whatever it takes. And that's not the only time. We're, we're planning to do it every Tuesday at 6.30 for half an hour. Very concerted effort for the community and for the local government. I just want to end it. Anybody who wants to pray? Thank you. Anyone else? Other business? Sir? Up? Oh, yes, sir. Mr. Just, wow. it's, it's still a month away, but since uh, the uh, holiday things were listed in our packets, the new call ball drop will be at the end of the month. The paired to flight ball drop. So just keep that in the back of your minds. Uh, same things as last year ice sculpting. Food, you know, some vendors on down the street, so just keep that in the back of your heads. Would we be looking for donations to help out with some things? Oh, of course. I think you should mention it. We should. We can always use donations. Exactly right. It's not free. No, it's not. But it is free to everyone there. Right. right. Not free. What I'm trying to say. Yes. But it's a good thing you put on. Thank you for doing we, it. We. Very much. You've done a great job. You're the one who put it together, and that's wonderful. Anyone else? Other business? Anything? All right. Uh, would you like to read the rest sure. of the report, please, Mr. Carr? City offices will be closed on Wednesday, December the 24th, Thursday, the, <coughs> December the 25th, and Friday, December the 26th for Christmas. There'll be a joint government meeting Monday, January 26, 2015, at 6.30 p.m. at the Bethel Township Firehouse. And as mentioned earlier, there'll be a council work session uh, for levy discussion slash budget discussing discussion for next year. Uh, this Wednesday, December the 3rd at 6.30 p.m. here at Smith Park Shelter House. And our next meeting of council will be Monday, December the 15th at 7 p.m. Thank you. And we should mention that that work session for the levy is open to the public. If you'd like to come, by all means, please. I know a number of us have said We'd like to have more input, so if you would like to be here, please come, and you'll have a chance to have some input. <clears throat> and I was remiss in not asking if anyone out here would like to say anything before we finish up tonight. Anyone at all? Anyone on staff? Anything? Council, one more time. Then I will entertain an action by Mr. Zambach. I move we adjourn. Thank you, sir. We'll do that.